Hello, everyone out there. So, I want to start talking about this question. And I've been meaning to talk about this question for a long time, make a video of it, rather. And so, this is the video. And I'm going to start really looking in and researching this topic to try to help the globe birthers out. Because this question here that I'm about to talk about, there's not even a, a close answer uh, to, to make sense of this, okay? So this is the heliocentric model. Uh, this is the model we were taught in school and all the brainwashing involved since we were mm, young children, okay? So here is the sun. Here's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, etc. We don't need to talk about the other planets for this question, so we're going to stick with what we have here. Now, Mercury is the closest so-called planet or wandering star, I like to call it, to the sun. The, um, revol it revolves around the sun like this. Venus revolves around the sun like this. Earth, etc. Okay? Now, this planet Earth will never be in front of Venus. Venus will never be behind Earth. Venus will never be in front of Mercury. Mercury will never be behind Venus, okay, etc. This is its path. This is what we're taught. These will never be closer to each other, no matter where it is. If if uh, if Mercury, if it's here, it's here. Venus, it will never be like here, in other words, okay? They never cross each other. These are the way it revolves around the sun. The path, the orbit, whatever we're taught, okay? So, my question is, how are we able to see Venus and Mercury at nighttime? I don't know if you can see these rays in pencil. So these are, this is the sun rays. Sun rays will shoot everywhere according to this model. It's a, it's a big gigantic ball of gas, we're told, okay? It's even shooting up, down, left, right, everywhere. It's a ball of gas, we're told. So these, the sun, the light is shining everywhere. Follow? Okay, so if we're here on Earth... How can I see this so-called planet? How? The sun is shining this way. I should never be able to see Venus or Mercury at night, but we do. I've asked this question to people at work, people who believe they live in a ball and call me a flat earther an idiot for questioning this model. When they, they themselves can't even answer this question. But I'm the idiot for bringing it up to them. Without me, they would have never even thought about this question. Without Flat Earthers, they don't even think of these questions. They have no answer. So when I asked the people at work about this, this question, they had to go home and research it. So they probably just went on Google. How can I see Venus and Mercury at night? And whatever answer they got is what they brought back to me. That, that's amazing. So he comes in the next day and says, oh, yeah, it's simple, Frank. It's real simple. So uh, I, I said, well, first, tell me how I can see it, like how it is here, not, not this right here. He's like, oh, well, you can't see it. If, Mer if Venus was right in front here and Mercury was here, uh, you can't see it. I'm like, oh, well, where can you see it? And then he brings um, Mercury right here. Oh, now, if Mercury was here and you were right here on Earth, all oh, this is dark. And that's how you're able to see it. Uh, really? Um, the sun shines, does it not? So, again, this sun is shining always. So you're telling me that this little path right here is is night? Is nighttime? It's bypassing all these, the sun rays and sunlight? Really? How does that work? Um, it just does, okay? They have real smart people. You're not a scientist, Frank. You're not wearing a white lab coat. You're just an electrician. You're just this, you're just that, okay? There's people who've been studying this for, like, their whole lives, so they just know. They just know, man. I'm like, yeah, okay, well, can, can I know, or is it a secret how this model works? So, I keep explaining to them, this is the answer I got, guys, from a globe earther. The only way we could see um, Mercury and Venus is if we're here. So he says if we're here on this side, then no, you can't see it. You have to be here on Earth to see it. Somehow this, you know, 
This is all night according to this guy. And that's how we're able to see it. Same thing if Venus was here. If Venus was here, it's so easy, Frank, to see Venus if it's right here. Oh, really? I, 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 again, how? And they don't give me an explanation. They just, they just point and say, that's how. That's how, Frank. So this is my answer. This picture, this, this right here is my answer without explanation. Um, so I, I, I'm going to start talking about that. I'm, I'm, people are going to get sick of this question. That, that's my goal is to make people so sick of this question that they never want to talk about it again. And I'm going to keep, uh, doing my research on this. I'm going to get better videos. Um, because this is, this is like checkmate for this models is bullshit. Okay. This is physically impossible. If this is it, if this is what we're taught. And I, I don't know why no one ever talked about this in school, teachers, students, anything. Probably because we just want to get the hell out of the indoctrination camp. And if you want to tell me that this is just it and write this on a test so you can pass and get on and get the hell out of here. Okay, fine. That's what we're going to do. That's probably, you know, because when we're young kids, we really don't care about this stuff. Well, most people don't at least. So um, another guy at work, his answer was, oh, man, well, they just got it figured out. You know, they, they, they're really smart. Um, you know, uh, they have their explanations. They they have their reasoning. I'm like, yeah, but like, can you tell me why? No, I mean, I'm not a scientist. I don't know, but uh, I'm I'm positive that they know. I'm like, well, okay, is that a legitimate answer? Like, do you, would you accept that if you were asking me this question? He goes, dude, I don't got time for this, man. You know, these are the answers I'm getting. Um, yeah, it, it's like, okay, great. So I'm asking you people out there. Globe Earthers, Flat Earthers, any kind of shape Earthers. How the hell we're able to see these two planets at night? At night. Okay? Especially Mercury. Mercury's going to be really hard for you guys to figure out how, how that's possible. And I can't wait to hear your answers. I really can't. So, you know, call me an idiot for, for asking this question because you're really good at name calling Globe Earthers. So don't forget to name call. And thumbs down the video. Don't forget to thumbs down the video for asking a question and uh, et cetera. So, yeah, I hope this um, I explained this well enough. Uh, the question, you know, it's a real simple question. How can we see Mercury and Venus at night? It's a simple question if we're here. And this is how Earth revolves around the sun. Never are we in front of these two planets. Okay. Earth is never here. Never here, okay? It's never there. Um, this is, again, this is checkmate. This is game over for the heliocentric model. Unless you can, out there, can give me, uh, you know, proof that this can somehow work, okay? I got people out there telling me that if I'm here, this is somehow dark and night. This is night now. It's bypassing all the sun rays for whatever reason. I don't have an explanation for you, but that's how it works, Frank. This is how it works. It just works. I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm not a scientist. You know what? Scientists are human beings out there, just like you and I. The creator created all this, not human beings. We're not supposed to have answers for this. But if this is what you want to say it is, you got to give us some proof. You got to give us some answers out there. So, yeah. And again, I'm going to make more videos on this. And I'm going to I'm gonna go online. I'm going to tell you guys what NASA is saying, what their reasoning is. Good old NASA. Trust NASA, right? Yeah, they know what to, they would never lie to you. Why would they lie? Why would they lie? Look, this is proof. This is proof that we live on a ball, guys. This is called the heliocentric model, and I'm going to just, you know, instill this in your brains for 12 years of your life until you just regurgitate everything I'm repeating to you. It doesn't have to make sense. Just put this on your test, or you'll fail, and you'll stay back. Um, so, yeah, I can't, I really can't wait to hear answers out there. Um, good luck. I'm so glad that I'm not a globe earther where i'd have to answer this question because you guys got a lot of work ahead of you all right well talk to you soon good luck